One second. We got one. Got some photos back from that uh, robbery at the gas station. I think it's gonna be that same gray Subaru that was stolen as a puffer earlier this week. Man, I hope we find these guys soon before somebody gets killed. Yeah, this is Mr. Smith. You found my car? Great. I'll be right down. Oh, I'm so glad you found my car. I don't think I could stand taking the bus again. Oh, yeah. They did something to that door. Um, but the good news is they left the keys. Are you kidding me? Am I going to have to climb over? What's that smell? Yeah, uh, it looks like we found it down by the creek. Um, some baby raccoons were probably living in it. Oh, man. They took my briefcase. You guys think you'll get it back? They probably ditched that somewhere, but you're going to be looking at a couple thousand to get that smell out of there, you know? And then you're probably going to want to get it rekeyed, and you're looking at a lot of insurance money. There's a lot of. Here at the Lakewood Police Department, we like to have a lot of fun with our videos, but puffing is no joke. Take a look at some of these pictures of real puffers after they've been recovered. As you can see in these pictures, we often find syringes, weapons, the inside of the cars are trashed, and what you can't see is the smell. Puffing your vehicle or leaving it running unattended is illegal in Colorado. Here's some tips to keep you and your car safe. Never leave your car running unattended. Lock your car doors every single time you leave it. Always park in well-lit areas. Never put a spare set of keys in your car. And finally, if you see something, say something. If you see something suspicious, call 911. Together, we can stop puffing in our community.